everybody, it's Aaron here, and welcome to a returning series. This is the series I mentioned that I would be bringing back as part of the 300 sub hype. Closer to 350 now at this point, but hey, whatever, I'm behind with the times. Um, I am bringing back Pixelmon! As you can see, I've got some Pokeballs off to the side, except we're doing things a little different. And I'm actually going to just call this series Pixelmon Survival. I know I put up a video uh, that I had titled that, that I was messing around with the, kind of toying around with the idea of doing a kind of a different series for that. Um, but ulti ultimately, I've decided I'm not going to do that. Uh, and so this is going to be the new Pixelmon Survival series. And that's just because I'm not going to break this up by seasons, at least not, I don't intend to. Uh, unless I feel like there's a really defining reason for it. Um, but one of the biggest changes is just that we're not starting with picking a Pokemon. We are going to have to, uh, we're going to have to catch one, collect the stuff, and catch one on our own right away. So we really kind of got screwed on this chest, unfortunately. So the world seed is below. I am playing on the current version of Pixelmon. I'm really excited to kind of see. I've I've toyed around with it a little bit, uh, just to check things out. And I have to have to admit, I'm really uh, pretty impressed with some of the changes. And I haven't even tackled a lot of them. Like I know nothing. I know that there are Pokemon Ranch blocks or whatever now. And past that, I know nothing about them. I'm excited to explore them. Um, but let's get cracking. We gotta get some stuff done here. So I'm gonna run this kind of similar to how I run Digimobs as far as a series goes. We're gonna we'll, we'll kind of build a base, and at some point we're gonna definitely build a Pokemon. We're gonna mess with the Pokemon Ranch and breeding stuff because I'm really curious about that. But for this episode, unfortunately. So we're in a forest. I haven't explored this uh, this uh, seed past. I loaded it just to see, make sure we weren't on like an island or something. And I know we aren't on an island, so because there is this, this forest is very large. That is the only thing I know about it. Uh, but we need to collect, get some apricorns going, so we can get some pokeballs going here at some point. See some stone. I'm gonna grab this so I can get an axe because we're gonna also. Uh, since we're in a forest, we're taking gonna take advantage of this, that to get try and get as many apples I think as we can for food source, because until we get a Pokemon, we cannot. We don't really have a reliable way of getting food in this mod because normal mobs will not spawn. Unlike Digimobs, normal mobs will not be spawning. It's just gonna be Pokemon, and you can't like you can't directly interact with Pokemon as far as like fighting them with swords and stuff. They will drop food items and things like that, but because we cannot do that, and then we do not, we're not starting with Pokemon. We have no way of getting food past the more passive methods, such as apples and bread and all that fun stuff. And if you've watched my Pixelmon series in the past, um, I usually set up like a farm and use that. But uh, for now. I don't want to take the time to do that. Okay, we need to get a bunch of tools set up, so we just as well we'll just get one shovel. We're getting two axes though. I do carry a sword around, but it's more for when we in case we find weird stuff. Because that happens once in a while. Spawners still exist in this world in this with this game, monster spawners. So you can still end up fighting mobs, uh Normal mobs like zombies and stuff, so you do need to kind of pay attention. Looks like we got planes over here. That's not a bad thing. Swamp over there, it looks like. Looks like more forest off in this direction. So, one of the other things is Pokemon Center. We're going to try to find a Pokemon Center uh, to make, kind of set up base around or near anyway. Because early on, that's going to be the only way we'll be able to really heal heal our Pokemon. Until we can kind of venture forth and make our own base. Now, there is, <laughs> with my luck, there is no guarantee that we will find 
There's no guarantee at all that we will actually find um, a Pokemon Center anywhere near here. <laughs> But the planes should be fairly easy to search, so I'm kind of happy we found that. We're going to cut these trees down and see if we can get some apples. And collect the lumber while we're at it. That's why I made two axes. We also need to run around and find a bunch of apricorns, because we need to get some going so we can get some pokeballs. Um, ideally... I would like to find, I think for now, I, I would like to find um, two, you need to get like two blues and a red, and then we can plant them and actually uh, start harvesting for great balls, and go with that first, but I don't know what kind of luck we'll have, so... I don't know if finding that's going to be easy or not. Oh, wow, that was a, like a double tree here. Just clear this mountainside off a little bit. Come on. We will take the saplings with us. Um, and we will... If, if we don't end up... If we end up uh, being kind of away from the forest here, out in these plains... We will plant them and try to use that as a, way, a continuing food source for the time being. You're not having much luck with the apples, though. That sucks. Big time. There is one. So we got an apple. I just don't want to have to rely on wheat, growing wheat to survive here. Man, what terrible luck for apples. And I don't, I don't know what the drop rate is on apples, to be honest. I don't play this game enough, apparently. I wouldn't know that even if I played the game more, I don't think. I just don't keep track of that. Okay, we'll wait for these to... Finish despawning. Help him along a little bit. And then we're going to head back into the forest for the moment because that's going to be where we find apricorns. So, nothing. Jeez. Really? Well, we got saplings, I guess. Uh, if we can get some string, if we're lucky and maybe we find some beat up bug Pokemon, we might find some string on the ground from wilds fighting each other. There's an Abra. Bye, Abra. Well, there's a black apricorn. I'll take it. You no longer get ap extra apricorns from breaking apricorn trees in this version. So all you get is lumber. And when you right-click them, they're just straight added to your inventory now instead of other things. Instead of them flying everywhere and then you have to run around and collect them. Let's see, I know I'm going to need to do this, because you guys are going to... It's going to be nighttime soon. Fortunately, at night in this game, since mobs, normal mobs don't spawn, we don't actually have to worry about monsters coming out at night. So we can do whatever the hell we want. In fact, different Pokemon usually show up at night, so that's kind of cool. There are Leafstone Shards. I'm not going to worry about collecting them. There's a green. Well, I can't remember if it's two greens and a black, or two blacks and a green. Is that a mudkip? It is a mudkip. Mudkip. I heard you lack some mudkips. Wouldn't mind finding some coal. Surface coal. You can, if you can beat up Magikarp, which isn't particularly hard, we just don't have a Pokemon, you can get fish from them too, at least last time I played. And I bet it, you know, we'll turn this up even more. We'll just 
We'll go at like 85. Hopefully that'll brighten it enough for you guys to be able to see at night. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting dusk balls actually. I'm as that is my favorite pokeball. I like dusk balls. Green and black is kind of a uh, color scheme I like in particular. You're getting a lot of pinks. We haven't seen any reds. There's a blue finally. The reason why I'm interested in trying to get uh, great balls over others is just because of the quantity that we get of the great balls. Um, you get, I think it's three great balls when you make them, as opposed to like you only get for every for ultra balls you only get like one per set. You get I think five or six for regular pokeballs, and then you get three for dusk balls too. For any of the other special ones, I might be wrong. It might just be it's it's two or three for the other special Pokeballs. You're gonna collect all of this coal. Some surface iron would be great too, because we actually need to, we need to collect a decent amount of iron. So one of the early things we're gonna have to do is cave, because um, we need to have iron to even make Pokeball any Pokeballs, as that is the bottom half of Pokeball. Well, we get that back. Let's check this out here. Make some more torches. We're going to check this out just because that is one of the reasons why. See, we're going to do we'll do a little bit right quick here since this is kind of a nice cave. And see if we can pick some iron up. We don't need like there's aluminum that's added with this mod as well, but we don't need any of that immediately. Iron is really the only thing we have to have, and that's because we have to make an anvil. Not a normal anvil, not a normal Minecraft anvil, so we don't need that much. But we have to make a Pokeball anvil, and that still takes a good amount. And then we need actual iron just to make the Pokeballs the Pokeball bases, so. And that's our priority at the moment, uh, other than food and just trying to survive in general. I'm going to go ahead and leave this lit, just so that I know that we have been in here. And we have ironed it out. We'll grab this coal. But we'll stop uh, when it, when it's daylight again here, we'll actually see if we can't We'll stop and look at some of these models. The, the newer models are just amazing that they've been putting in. If we're lucky, actually, I should go out um, and see if we can't find a knocked owl. I ran across that in when I was just messing around with it here. Uh, I ran into it. There's like the hoot hoot. Like it's a swimming hoot hoot. That's really like the model on that is amazing. But I ran across a knocked owl that was hanging out, and it's just like the passive. Just kind of idling animation that it has is amazing. And the model looks awesome. That must be lava over there. Let's go check it out. Swimming with the magic carps. Carp carp. Magic carp. Yep, lava. I wouldn't mind checking that out for fire stones at some point, but getting in there for it right now is going to be kind of a pain. 16, I think we have, so we should have enough for an anvil. We actually, if we can get a little bit more iron, we are going to be really, sitting really good. We're really close, we'll be really, really close to getting our Pokeballs. Getting something anyway. Magical. Kind of got to keep our eyes open for while well, we're running around the forest here. Uh, I